Okay, thanks for tuning back in today. Today's all about the Remington 700. Chambered in six millimeter, has a loophole three by nine by 40 scope. It's gonna be a fun day for me at least. I'm gonna, I'm stepped off here at 40 yards where I normally shoot the handguns and I'm gonna shoot a plate steel with it. It's about a half inch thick. I have no idea the greatest steel, but it, uh, I don't really care. Let's shoot it. Well, yeah, it's not hard steel. It's a pretty sizable dent. Let's keep going. All right, well, let's stop there and go take a look. Okay, well, that was uh, four rounds from a six millimeter Remington Model 700. As you can see, those are sizable dents. They're swelling around where they hit. This steel is where it impacted is a half inch thick. So I can, I can almost put my pinky finger, the tip of it flush, so whatever that is, you know, quarter inch hole, well, den anyway. But uh, pretty fun, let's just keep shooting. Okay, so this has been pretty fun. We're going to talk a little bit more about this caliber and kind of where it came from and how, how it came to be and, and uh, you know, maybe the differences between the Remington Model 700 and the Winchester Model 70. Just one obvious difference is this, this weapon has to be on fire to work the bolt when the Winchester has a half safety. The gun's still on safe, but you can work the action. Uh, this is a beautiful gun. Let's just uh, keep shooting. And I'm going to shoot a gallon of water at the end of this, just put it on slow motion, just, just because I have one. Shooting a swinging target is kind of interesting. I like it. I think I missed it. That's a sweet gun. Very little recoil. I'm holding it kind of light, but wow. All right, well, I'm going to keep going. Uh, I don't have really anything going today, so I'm going to go ahead and shoot a box of shells and that still just beat it up a little bit. If you've seen enough and you want to go to the, me shooting the gallon of water or uh, you know me talking about the weapon and maybe some of the, the past history on it, just fast forward. I'll go to the truck and lay it on the tailgate like I normally do.
<laughs> That's me getting to it. Alright, I'm gonna slow down. Alright, well, I'm gonna pick up all my brass and I think I'll shoot a water jug with it. Then we'll talk about it. Okay, so I set up a gallon of water jug. Let's just shoot it. Then we'll go back to the tailgate and talk about the rifle some more. Remington model 700, chambered in 6mm. Remington made a 244. It was, uh, it was probably a fine weapon, but the problem is the reason why that the 243 Winchester won out over that weapon was because the 244 Remington couldn't stabilize 100 grain ammo. It was because of the rate of twist. It didn't have a fast enough rate of twist to stabilize the bullet. Well, when, uh, Winchester came out with the 243. Of course, that won out. They quit making the 244, and they went to the 243. Well, this is Remington's competition for the 243 Winchester. This is a Remington six millimeter. It is debatable which one you know you like the most, or you know you read forums all day long. And people will talk about well, they prefer the 243, the, you know, the, the six millimeter. I think if you were to research long enough, you would come to the determination that shooters and reloaders preferred the six millimeter because uh, there is some shoulder differences in the case of a six millimeter versus the 243. Also, there's more powder capacity in a six millimeter than a 243. But, you know, it basically comes down to personal preference. And also, the 243 and the 6mm both stabilize the 100 grain bullet. But you can get a couple of hundred feet, you know, more feet per second with the 6mm due to enlarged powder capacity. Um, it's a sweet shooting weapon. I hold them, I have a tendency to kind of hold them kind of light. Just for video, it just kind of helps me place the bullet, you know, uh, quickly, I guess. You know, I could say I, I could take my time and a pretty pretty tight group at 40 yards. That would be very simple. It doesn't take a, a, a master marksman to be able to do that, especially with quality rifles. I mean, uh, I don't really know what else to say about the gun. You know, it's a... Uh, I think, you know, it, just me personally, I've had a 243 and I've had the 6 millimeter. I don't reload, uh, but you know I uh, I like I like both of them. But I, for me, you know, of course, this is what this is what I like uh, the six millimeter. It's it's my choice just because it's just uh, it was made designed to compete with the weapon. So you know, generally they took cues, and uh, most times when that happens, it's improved upon. That's just my opinion, and if anything I've said is incorrect, let me know. Let's talk about it. But uh, this is the video, I hope you enjoyed it. All right, Remington model 700, six millimeter. 
Thanks for tuning in and leave me some comments. Uh, if you want to discuss 243 versus 6 millimeter, I'm all ears and I like to hear from people. Uh, it's like that video I put up about the, uh, the quick tip for the Breda Pigs 4 Storm Subcompact. I appreciated that comment. He let me know that when you, when you turn the slide stop lever parallel, the, the slide, I mean, the, it locks back in very easily. And uh, it may be in the manual, but I'm the type of guy that I, I choose to figure it out myself or let someone tell me. So uh, anyway, leave me a comment about this fine weapon and stay tuned. I have a buddy who's supposed to be getting with me about a, uh, an FN Tactical 45, so I'm looking forward to that. Thanks for watching.